once again once again you know just this past few days i senate one of the biggest streamers in america or in the world made his way down to nigeria and he spent about four days after he spent about four days he came to ghana and spent about i think a day or two then he moved back to the u.s he has actually after going back to the u.s he has come out to share his experience and how he was received and how he felt when he was in ghana and when he was in nigeria so i just want to take time and um, show you some of these videos for you to listen to what his experience how both countries made him feel so let's go into the video and watch what he said ghana and nigeria you guys are literally oh my gosh bro like ghana and nigeria let me tell you something bro you guys have entered top five stamp countries that i've ever been to and i've only been to a few but i'm 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 literally and I, my favorite country that i've been to personally was japan but i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not gonna lie bro africa is they, they just different like bro like let me okay let me break it down to you real quick okay i'm gonna break it down real quick here we go chat here we go ghana like, okay, Nigeria is literally, like, when I was in Nigeria, I felt like it was GTA 6 out there. Okay? Here's the thing, gang. It's the support, the love, and the culture of Nigeria that I absolutely, I'm obsessed with, chat. Like, no cap, bro. Like, there's not one time I felt scared in Nigeria. Okay, I'm lying. I was in the car and, oh, 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 and it scared me, okay? But other than that... I can see why Nigeria and Ghana like really go back and forth, bro. Do you understand? When I put my mouth on that jollof movie, you understand me? Here's the thing that I would say about Nigeria's jollof. Let me say it. It's a little too spicy for me. It's good, but my spice level is not there yet. And I got to keep eating spice to get good at it. You feel me? You feel me? But bro, man, you're weak. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm probably I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie though. Everything out there is spicy. I need to get better at eating, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna. You're black though, huh? Terps with the five gifted. Appreciate it, Terps. Rest in peace, your. What? Um, Terps with the five gifted. But yeah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Big message to Ghana. Big message to Nigeria. Thank you so much for making me up. Thank you so much for making it feel like a home. You know what I'm saying? To the people that helped me out there, shout out to DeVito, shout out to Shank, shout out to the team out there in Ghana that helped me, make me feel like it's a home. And I'm going to return. Ghana, do not worry. December is on the way. I'm actually planning on having my birthday in Ghana and Nigeria for December. Okay? I want to bring my whole family out there. That's, that's how serious I am, bro. Okay, I want to bring everybody out there for December because I heard it gets wicked in December. I I heard it gets wicked. Ghana and Nigeria, I will be back. I hope you know that. I will be back. So please save some room for me, bro. Because when you go outside and you experience your own two eyes, it's a different type of vibe. And check. Can tell. But I miss Africa so much, bro. Like, it feels good to be back home, but it's like, when I was in Nigeria, it was like an everlasting thrill of what's next. I miss Ghana too. Like, Ghana was such a nice, vibey place. Like, I'm taking somebody on vacation, man. Water my mother, bro. It's like, when you go see it with your own two eyes, you notice it's a whole different vibe, bro. America got niggas thinking that there's going to be lions and fucking zebras and, and, and shit around. Shut the fuck up. That's really, that's, it's really the motherland, bro. Like, no glaze. No glaze, bro. No glaze. Niggas used to make fun of Africans growing up. I remember that shit. I used to be on some African booty scratcher shit. That's crazy, bro. Shout out to all my Nigerians. To all my Ghanaians, I love y'all so much, bro. I bleed green and white, 
and I bleed red, yellow, and green. No cap. I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. Yo. So look, we eating some jollof right now. Some we eating some uh some Ghanaian jollof. I'm here with Shanti. Shanti hey, from Ghana. Max. So look, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I'll be honest, all right? I don't tell you I don't tell you the story like two times already, but um. I got my heart broke in uh, Nigeria, right? And uh, I feel I feel better now because I'm in I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in Ghana, and she made me feel like she was showing she was showing me around, making me feel like I had a nice time. And I uh, I, I feel good, I feel good. So last night I was crying a little bit, and uh, now we're trying some. Um, Why were you crying? Huh? Why were you crying? Because. But like, like, how does that even make sense? Like, you saw me and you still were crying. No, no, I was crying because, like, I Your found out my heart was still broken. Yeah. Yo, look, though, I'm so mad that I can't stream, chat. Tell them. Can you please tell them so they know I'm not lying? Tell them what's going yeah, on today. So basically, um, I don't know what the fuck happened, but we didn't have internet the whole day. There's, like, a total internet breakout in the whole West Africa, and, yeah, we just, like... I I'm on hotel Wi-Fi right now. If I had a set up here, I would literally, I would literally set myself up. Yeah, I'm liking it though. I'm liking the Ghanaian and Jalo. And uh, nah, I just had to go live real quick. But yeah. So listening to him, clearly you could see that he really, really felt good and he was welcomed in both countries. Without a doubt, you know, he's he's that hyper guy. He's, he's, he's always happy. Um, he's not that type that he's like cool, calm and all that. Even his streams, you see him. Like that's how he is. And I really love that about him. I feel like, listen to what he was saying in the video, like, People in America should not be talking about Africa is this, Africa is that. They should come and see, like, they should come and f see what's here, what he, and the feeling is different, you know? And, and right now, he's actually counting, like, Ghana and Nigeria as one of the best trips that he has ever had, you know? I feel like, always I say this, that African-Americans, Black Americans, or Africans from the diaspora, or in the diaspora, stop listening to what you are being told in the news all the time. Take that step, make that trip, come to Africa and experience how Africa is yourself. Because experiencing something yourself and listening to what people tell you, they are two, two different things, two different things. And I'm happy he says he's going to come back in December. You know, I'm sure when he came to Ghana, he was told that Charlie, if you really, really want to pop and pop and pop well choose december come to ghana on december and he's saying he wants to come and do what celebrate his birthday in ghana or in nigeria so bro listen yes december is the best time for you when you come you are going to have mad fun in ghana i can assure you that so as i said anyone watching if you are black american or black british or whoever and you want to visit ghana to have fun especially or to see the other side of the country actually you need to come around that time unless perhaps you want to come and go to the tourist site and even that even those times you can still go to the tourist site and all that but those times when you come the hotels especially they are very expensive at that time around december um a lot of things are going on at that time so uh, trust me, it's it's it, it it's a lot. So if you really want to have that calm nature of Ghana or feel have a feel of the calm nature of Ghana and all that, I think December is a good time though. But I I will not say you should come December. You can perhaps come from let's say January to November, and I think you'll be cool. So hey, take that trip, make that trip, come to Ghana or Nigeria, come to Africa and enjoy yourself. I love his experience and I love how positive he is, Kaisenat. We are waiting for you, your second coming. Thank you so much for watching.